What's up everybody, this is your boy here, Light Show, back with another video, and this is one I've been waiting for for a minute, it's very popular right now, Dark Pictures Presents The Man of Madon. You may remember this game creator from, uh, he did make Until Dawn, which was the first of its kind, really, really good, so let's go ahead, you know how we do this, we gotta kill the music, jump in the next scene, Pa. And there we are, so let's go ahead and loot her up, buds. My fellow dudes and dudettes, it's time to play an amazing, highly requested horror game while I eat my chips. Eat my chips. Oh. Oh, that's pretty wicked. The Dark Picture Anthology. Love it. Love the introduction of the game. Okay. Yes! Oh, 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 didn't mean to do that. Yeah, except. Until the left image is invisible. The middle image is barely visible. Oh, well, we're about, we're right there already. Play with friends or play alone? Uh, we're gonna play alone. Who the hell? Okay, new story. So far, uh, looks a little, look, a little different. Do you that? I'll eat my chips. Because I'm going to starve to death if I do not do it. You just want a long loading screen, though. Oh. Oh! The man of a dog. There you are, my red steel. What's up, homie? Look at the graphics. This is my jam, guys. This <laughs> oh, soldier was killed, huh? Dude, look at these graphics. All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Oh, man, I don't I hate shit like that. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Have you got a question as to tiles? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him? Take the bamboo tile. Oh, 
。看这张牌，告诉我。Do what you see. 你看到了什么？ Press and hold to pick up objects. Oh God! I'm gonna hold it down. Now flip it. A fishy. Looks like a fish. It's a fishy. What does that mean? Does it mean my son's gonna become a fish? Your fortune may come from any direction. Like a mysterious wind. But when a wind like this may blow. Death and doom are sure to follow. Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Traits updated. Hey, bud. Traits. Let me get a go at it. Oh yeah. Think you got the stuff? Can you do better than your friend? Fight. Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. Okay, go beat the shit out of you, buddy. Oh, oh. Oh hell no! I gotta do button sequences in this game. Hey, buddy. What? I thought you said you could fight. Looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know? Why am I wasting my time on this idiot? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Okay. Drop it and squish him. Hell is it? It's padlocked all the way around, ain't it? <laughs> Skull and crossbones on top. That's very uh, promising. They got quite a few of them that's calling crossbones, don't they? Excuse me? Make it back to the ship drunk as hell. Hey man! Hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on, man! Hey! Buzz off, buddy! Nobody pushes me around! <laughs> Holy hell! Drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical room. Throw the other in the brig. And keep him there. Damn, knocked the, knocked the shit out of me, didn't he? And we're off onto a journey into the magical land of we're gonna fucking die. Why is there a giant ass leak in the ship, first off? What is that? Oh, Jesus! So electricity just so happened to hit the- What is that? Green goo? Acid? Satan? That does not look good. Oh boy, that does not look good. Oh! 
Uh, that that might. Thank you for following, Purple Defensor. Um, that does not look good. Oh no! Don't beat me up, please. God, there's some green goo going everywhere. PTSD. Okay. All right, thank you for waking up, sir. Shit was about to go south. Maybe the green goop gas was just a dream. Oh man, it's been a long time since I played. The like uh, until dawn. I forgot how basic and complicated at the same time the walking system could be <whistles> go over here nothing to see uh. oh Jesus what the Christ what the hell? Jesus where the hell did he come from take his key yeah fuck him he's dead get his shit let's go get his wallet what what the hell just happened current to find a way to escape the sick bay okay What happened? Alright, well we got a key. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, I just heard something move. Sound like a bottle. You can't do shit to him? I can't do shit. He just... Well, he's dead! My diagnosis tells me this fucker's been dead for a time period. Alright, well, for some reason I was locked in this room. <laughs> Why? I don't know, but I was in the med bay. Apparently they locked the med bay from the inside. Like, that doesn't sound... Dude, the graphics. Oh, dude, you got the shit beat out of you. Oh, dude, the graphics. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna go over here because it seems safer over here. Dude, you're like Jack, son. You tight, son. Get your tight ass down the hallway. Yeah, go ahead and start peeping people's corridors. That's Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a, a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. No, let's go back in your room. Because there might be like a hidden thing in there. Like, you know, like one of them things in the game. Secrets. East egg. I want East egg. What the hell? No, I didn't mean to. No, I didn't Somebody, somebody getting a leave from duty, it said. Oh, here's another one. Okay, don't let go of the left mouse button. I just... Monday, Arthur Miller, private, petty theft, one by brig. Small items, Wednesday, trespass, two-day brig. So this is just like people that have been thrown, thrown in the brig. Make them walk off the poop deck. So, oh, there's something else here. Oh, what the fuck is that? Some bloody goop. It's the same shit that poured out of that thing. Dude, what? Dude, okay, well, let's go Let's go outside. Is there anything in that safe? Can I get that safe? Oh, she's locked up tighter than a nun jug. Alright, so we can't go in there. Alright, bud, I'm gonna let you go first. Uh, or let me go first so I can die first. I was gonna let you die first, homie. I like how these guys aren't even nervous. Jesus Christ! That was... Okay. Holy! Oh! 
Whoop his ass! What in the actual hell did I just witness? Maybe we should go this way first, just in case there's secrets in the game. Oh, the only secret over here is the fucking doors locked. No more locked doors. Okay. All right, buddy. Oh, we're just gonna continue on to follow the crazy motherfucker that had the gun. Because that's what real home skillets do when they're hanging out. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Fuck! Oh, yeah. This is the fucking sound effects. Jesus Christ, that's loud. Jesus, game. Strokes exist. Aneurysm bursts can happen. Jesus Christ. Unless this, whatever this shit is, makes you hallucinate. Okay, here we go. Hey, Charlie, help. Hey, Charlie, come over here and me open this fucking door, mate. <laughs> hey, Jesus Christ, why is the freaking audio so freaking loud? Gummer pal, or yeah, I do believe Charlie is a gummer pal. All right, so, so far, promising. Well, uh, very confused, very conflicted on what's going on in this story so far. But I love it. I love the mystery. God damn, another stiff. Oh, damn, Buckley. Last oh. time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Fit as a fiddle, huh? He was as fit as a fiddle. Oh, God dang it. Oh, not Finley. Alright, okay. We just continue down where something grabs my leg, bitch, your money. No? No, we're gonna continue and not even mention the green gooey mist that is popping out from underneath every crevice and orifice. Hold what to walk faster? So thank you, game, for telling me, like, a whole so many minutes later on in the game that I could have been walking faster this whole time. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Okay. Okay, so we are in some kind of holding bay. Hey, son of a bitch! Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling alright? Son of a bitch, game! There's a children in here! Let's go kick his ass! Come on, Chuck! If it's like the girl from the Ring movies, we gonna beat her ass! There's a lot of bodies over here! No, look at that sprite on that motherfucker! Oh! Charlie! Get over here! <laughs> Yep, we got we got some Thompsons now. Fully automatic. We're gonna shoot some peoples now. We're gonna shoot the hell out of people. Ain't that right, Charlie? We're gonna pop some bitches right now. Don't shoot your friend. Don't accidentally shoot your buddy. There's a children. Just don't shoot the child. Go 
What is this green gas? Hey, come here. You see, it's. Oh God, no, Charlie! Don't shoot Charlie! <laughs> Hello, little boy. I'm going to shoot the shit out of you if you don't back up. Woo! Hey, hey! <laughs> Holy shit! Ah! Run, you son of a bitch! What? Run! What is wrong with you? Oh my god, he's killing me! Charlie! Charlie, help! Charlie! Oh, what the fuck happened? I kind of like that character to an extent. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello, can anyone out there hear me? Help! Look, I got my little hat on. What in the shit is that thing? ship is pretty much screwed, right? Everybody's dead. So who are you looking like the Mad Hatter? Hello? Hello. And welcome thank to you. my repository. Okay, thank you. You look so nice. I can totally trust you, correct? Um. 
Um. I am the curator, the curator of stories. Okay. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. Oh, shit. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes eventually Dude. to everybody. Yeah, but Still, not. None of us want for it to come too soon. Uh -uh, me Dude. either. No! Fuck that. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. Really? I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. I haven't... Well, I died. That's a hell of a mess, right? <laughs> okay. We got here. This are actual people we're gonna be playing as now throughout the game. Brad, Alex's brother. Okay. Are you do? I mean, Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend. He's insecure and motivated. Okay. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Oh! You're going, you're going you to be How the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I wanted to. I just didn't I didn't have time, you know. I had to work all summer. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Didn't have any time. Okay, so instead of being embarrassed, Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Mm -hmm. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school, would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Empathetic. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? We're brothers. We gotta be nice. Yep. No brotherly fighter. Right on cue. What? Conrad <sighs> doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're gonna hide the beer. Relationship updated. I'll check it when I get a chance to actually pause. Hey. Traits updated. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Negative. Yeah, what? Okay. It's just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. 
about finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Yes. Hey! Julia, comrade, sister, Alice's girlfriend. Reckless. Oh, I don't like Julia already. Look at that smile. Conrad? His little his name is literally Conrad. Who names their child Conrad? Mm. Oh yeah, let's go right into the porno Sorry. session. Right. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. Must be here, bro. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you, I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss hey, man. Wanna crack a colon with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that double tight, though. <laughs> you wanna crack a colon with me, bruh? Yeah. yeah. Cool. You walked all the way over here to then make a decision? I, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. <laughs> you ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Be truthful. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we're gonna pop your cherry, bud. Together. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? It's Phileas, Captain of the Courageous. What? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Confident, confrontational? Oh, Jesus. Damn, she just like, like, like let's get out of here! She didn't even want to talk to nobody. Selling, I'm lying. <laughs> Man, that's what you get, Conrad, with your stupid name and your orange Jeep on the beach. Oh, Jesus. I was about to say, I thought they were. Conrad, that's your sister. Stop being so close to her. <laughs> vomit, bruh, vomit. That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You, uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. I shouldn't have drank the beer. Oh, so they're getting ready to go scuba diving. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? What happens if I don't say anything? Feast your eyes on this. <clears throat> Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss! We found a plane! Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh... Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Say nothing at all. <clears throat> Say nothing. Guys, no one knows, no one cares. No harm, no foul. The right way. 
Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? I'm Julia, don't talk. Your your facial animations are just terrifying, woman. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. <laughs> hey. Hey. What is this? Got some binoculars, he. I see shit. That was useless. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. We're gonna go in the tail. We're gonna go right in the ass. Every picture, huh? How many pictures did you take, dog? Just pictures of freaking rocks while you're at it. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. <coughs> yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? So oh my god, I don't like her. you, Julia. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just... Don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Well, I guess my relationship with her just died a little bit because... Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys got to respect that. Uh, yeah. Sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but... You know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Pompous. Ah, fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? <laughs> oh boy, this I just made a bad mistake. You know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Okay, well I just made an enemy. Sorry. Did not mean to do... What is it got over there? doesn't look kosher. Okay, so that's her identification badge. Look at this strap on my back. Hey, bro, you alright? You still vomiting your guts up? What's up? How you doing? 
Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Okay. So he's not going to be going with us, I take it. The one in pictures. Dude, tanks are ready when you are. Is that a good one? So I need to make him get up. So these are the pictures. Those are kind of those are exactly like the totem poles in Until Dawn. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Money, money, girl. Oh, okay. two check done. Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Got me a niffy. Oh shit, take the camera or take the fuck? Or take the weapon. I know the way is interminable, but soon. The weapon. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. Right, kids. You ever have to use one? Good to go. On a shark? Nope. Just remember the rules, please. Take the camera too. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Dude, her face is just terrifying to me. Yeah, let them jump in. Let them do illegal shit. We'll just stay up here on dick. Gonna let them two go. Bye, Alex. Bye, Julia. Whoa, you good? More or less. There's a shark. Get the fuck out. She been flissy so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. Oh my god. Me. We're about to disturb a freaking like burial ground. The there. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. You don't really talk like that underwater. I mean, you do have breathing masks on. I don't know how you can speak when there's like a fucking round object shoved into your mouth hole. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Go ahead and have a drink. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. <clears throat> Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. There's already some brimmits going on. Eh? Wow. Okay, so... Gotta make sure my baby's working. 
Weather looks clear. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. What do you mean crowded? Is there another ship or something? How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. Been through? Been? You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Yeah, don't die in here. Don't don't drown. I don't. Is there a picture in there? Why do I keep these around? Um, I don't know, but uh, you didn't just see that premonition I just witnessed. Or somebody about to get shot. Okay then. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. <laughs> you think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. You need to mind the speed limit, Buster. Hey, I like life in the slow lane, too. Nice and slow. I'll see you later, Conrad. I hope so. A pair of frosty amber liquid, huh? Let's use the binoculars. Maybe she'll see some fucked up stuff. Sure, it's getting dark over there, though, ain't it? Okay. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Yeah, well, don't worry. If trouble means probably imminent death, bleeding, yeah, probably. Probably death. Hello again, little blip. What's she doing all the way out here? What do I do now? I did everything, right? Why'd you hide it? <laughs> turn it down, turn it down. Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast, over. Reading you, how can we help? Over. Inquiring about guidelines regarding an unidentified sun. Huh! What is this? What's that about? 
That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This, feel. this feels off. Yes, we should definitely just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? There, this, these are the guys that in the image of the future shoot somebody with a gun. Damn! Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Oh, you smart ass. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Oh. Didn't she just say, don't say anything stupid? <laughs> Didn't she just say that? It's just a plane. We weren't in a plane that went down. We were in a sub. That's a body, though. There's a bullet hole in his head, though. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. The rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. I'm Julia. I gotta play Julia under the water. The turret. We can get in through there. Ow, ow, ow! Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. Careful. Could be dangerous. Oh, shit, probably just fucked up the whole game just uh, then. ladies first? That bitch just got a fucking tetanus shot. What's she gonna need? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh. Now, okay, now she's gonna die like that from technique disease or something. I was not paying attention. I was paying attention to the chat. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. I would have went for it, but don't feel like dying. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Anti-aircraft shell. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Uh, well, I think you're probably much dead, Julia, because of that cut on Good your God. fucking leg. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. How about we not touch it? Happen here. They died. Things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Pop, pop. There's a 
fucking gun on that one. Son of a big bitch! My wet, my wet suit. When life gives you lemons. Ew. When life gives you lemons, you piss on yourself. Pilot and co-pilot, gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell no, I'm going to touch some more shit. I didn't let's leave then. Let's get the fuck out of here. Are you not want to leave? Am I missing something here? Am I missing something very important? Well, I guess there's nothing else to do here. He's holding something. We just leave now. I mean, unless there's something right here on the right, which there obviously isn't, because so we're just gonna head the fuck out. I right? we're getting out of here. Dude, it's like so deadly quiet all of a sudden. She's bleeding. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hey, but you're bleeding from that cut on the ship. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I, uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know, I... I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We've really got to get up top. Let's go, homie. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? That's that boat. Unless they beat up our guys Wait. or something. Julia, we got to decompress here. Whoa. Damn. What the fuck? We got to get up there. Wait. We have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, 
god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Okay. Okay, so them There's guys did. There's a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So why are you paying the ocean? <laughs> A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. Oh, the language. They're starting to speed from your mouths, honey bun. Okay, so each chapter ends when you meet this guy. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. Bitch. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. I'm doing well. Well, good. Oh, well, good. I'm so glad that you think so, buddy. Well, that seems like a very good place to end the game for right now. So, this has been Chapter 1 of The Man of Madon. So far, um, I'm a little very confused. Uh, a lot of things happening at once, but that's the way all these games kind of like this go off and spin off, is to keep you so confused at the beginning, you, the answers are probably right in front of your face. But I love the game. But uh, everybody that's watching the video, smash like on that button. And let's have a good next video. Until the next video, peace out, dudes and dudettes. Bye!